Here we go, folks. Basically, you got your shots indexed in here, and basically what we've got is a movie that I put together, and, and that's why I gave you the lower. Not even going to talk too much about name numbers to get through this video real fast, because I'm making you a movie. Is basically what I'm doing right here. Okay. What happened is the comment came in. You watched the last video that I just uploaded. I put hottie back in, Bino Black. Got back into Sechi. Was able to get the, mo the pictures, and we can make our own movie. Okay, we get the same actions. That's what they do. They do all they do is just put the movies together. Yeah, they do the colors. They do all the work. Okay, big deal. They got all kinds of automation tools and everything like that. Okay, so basically, what we're gonna do is we are going to see the comment after, and I'll be able to back it out, and you'll be able to see that basically, more than likely, no matter what, this is Venus up over there doing a atmospheric reactive flares to the comet, and also. Uh, until we get footage of it leaving the area, can't take out of it. Now, I'm just giving you, you know you're thinking that possibly when you watch this, you're going to think, did it hit it? Okay? Because there's Mercury, and we come down, and you're going to have the sun to the right. Okay? And then we'll even go through three bands of this, because I can plop back through it since I put all this together. It doesn't take too long. Just click, click, click. Okay? But now we're going to have the movie. So here we go. The comet comes in. Venus does whatever it does. Bam. And I can just keep going here, and you get to see, because I got them all in line and all in order. All you do is open them up. It's the best way to make a movie and do this. Now, and then you're going to get a little skip there. And actually, I was able to figure out how to do that. So we might have this comet turning around there, okay? And then I've got the map here real fast that I'll show you, okay? I have this in on the 13th, okay? So this is where stereo A should have been shooting, okay, and then that's when the last video I gave you the supergiant of 17918, it's HD 17918, that's what it comes out to be in, and so forth and so on. Now, what I'm going to do real fast is I'm going to hit the back page on the map here, and, be, and you're probably, holy crap, Batman, on the, uh, basically the, and I hate, yeah, actually, I apologize to every victim of the shooting right there, and basically don't have to, because basically, psyops and dirty, evil, wealthy, doing maneuvers. So, actual factual, the sun is its path is on the red line and that's what we have from core. So, basically, actual factual, there's your core and there's December 6th. That's what we're seeing on the green. So, we are getting that energy from HD 17918. That's huge star and stuff like that and I gave you that information in the last video. So, and so keep a track of this map, and then I'll give you another map, too, in the future when we watch this energy. And we're going to keep on watching the stuff on the green in the last video. And that video was Hottie back in Beano Black. Now, basically, I'm going to step this back in, and you can see that what I'm believing to be the comet turning around up there because look at all this energy that gets at the very end of the flick, you see? It's like the comet very much might have hit something, you know, in the general quadrant of Venus because that's where Venus should have probably been now we're back and back in this footage okay but as it, it's very I'm, now I'm going forward in the movie because basically we ma we made the movie I made the movie I made it I do it all this so anyway except for Sechi getting on Soho and then every branch of the military getting us and our tax dollars getting the shots for us and there we go we get this interesting action because at the very end you see so I'll just pop back I'm going to take time to edit that, okay? So, as we're going back, that's your action. And this is what you're not getting to see a movie at Sechi because this is all what's going on. i got to be careful not to. And then I'll give you a fast forward. It should still be going back. And then that's all this action that started. And then I'm back at Sechi and I'm back at the footage. And then... Here we go with the movie one more time. But actually, I'm not going to waste videotape with that. Let's go down and watch the sun as I can pop through this. We'll go at this now. We'll try to get the sun on just this here. And then also this, you got to watch this. There's a black streak that comes across here too. So let's watch that. Now, as you see, that, that black streak's still down there. Now, it looks like I pop up. This looks like I have a hard time trying to... Uh, every one of them, I'm going to have to go back in and out. So... What it looks like what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to keep going through this. This is how it basically happened, okay? We're going forward in time.
So that's basically the movie of it. Okay, and then NG-17 is around, and these are basically galaxies that are out there in Messier 35. Okay, so basically I can come 35 is currently 60 trillion miles away, 10 light years. Okay, work the way the heck out there. Freeze your screen, use full screen, and use your your own zooms, and you can see all the action that basically, as you can see, is up and basically everything in that circle. And then we have this stuff here that's interesting. Take a look at that. See, we have a great cluster of stuff going on right now. So on the 13th, M45 was up there and basically in that actual spot on the view of the map. And it basically smack dab in the middle of the up, up the upper high part of the view there. Okay? So and those galaxies, that's what we've been seeing on the Navy one, and then that's what they didn't really like, the idea that you could, you could see so good on the Navy shot in the black and white that you could actually see galaxies on the right-hand side and stuff. We could see galaxy action, okay? Those are other galaxies that were right and left of the black and white navies I was showing you of recent. You see what I'm saying? If you back it up and look at what core that, on the map of what core had. Okay, here we go with the movie. I don't know if it's 24 hours or not, but we'll see the timestamp when we get to the end, and I'm just going to put it through here, and we should be able to see whatever the sun would do at the same amount of time. So that's what it did in the nine minute mark to the 14 in 14 hours that's what we had for action I and mean, I can just suck it back in real fast I'm not gonna worry about getting down to the clock on each one of them and yeah I seen that some of them were just a little bit jerked out of position a little bit but here you go we're going back in time and remember Earth's over in the dark area all this light is getting propagated out into space, and that's the red, is all the light. So I'm actually going to be interested to watch this after, because I'm busy operating the clicker. So it was a pain in the ass to do this, so I'm going to go back to this one more time. Whoops. That up and down a little bit, I can't help that. But that's all that action. Okay. So, 14 hours to basically the first shot was right there again. So there's your little movie of what's going on up in space from Sechi. Thanks, Sechi, and every branch of the military. And... They'll be putting the movies together, and because I'll get the pictures and get them every day that I can get them. I got the 13th right now. I'm going to go look at the 12th. We're going to go look at Sechi High B H12, okay? Today's date and everything like that. Uh, basically, no, it's the 13th. You'd see on my date and time. It's always down here in the right-hand corner. But basically what I'm trying to tell you is we are basically going ahead and looking at that map and... You can see this big circle is what everything is should be in the view. So we got NGC 1746 and Math M1. This will be over by Jupiter and this will be over by Earth. Should be pretty much because we're going to go look at the shot from basically here at Sechi. And there you go. And Earth. And then I was saying that there's some. It's looking bigger. The Earth is looking bigger. And that I think was from A. But let's go ahead and I'll give you the. I'm going to give you a current map on this too, okay? So you're going to see what basically rises and sets, you see? So you got to watch for quakes in those times. And this is what I was finding two years ago, and I was like, man, we got the huge, I mean, the universe, and that's what the physicists, basically, it's the biggest electrical motor in the flipping world, okay? Because that's how close they pretty much are way the heck out there in space, up by Jupiter. So basically, what we have over, and then Earth is us, the big east-west, you know, that's our globe there, and then all the constellations up there and everything like that. So, uh, M1's basically Crab Nebula and uh, Star, 1746. So, huge objects. 
Okay, they're keeping a pretty good eye on on just Earth too, because basically, check this out. And we basically, you're going to see, I'm making a little movie, but see, they moved, because I centered this on a star, and as I move back, you're going to see they've been moving this. I mean, it's normal that when they move the satellite, and it moves as it gets shots. But you see that? So now watch this here star. There's a big one down here. Because what I was interested in is big stuff behind us and to see if there was a star. But basically, we d we have a very big al luminosity right now. And so basically, I'll pop back through this little movie I got again real, real fast. You see? So it's just our luminosity is pretty big right now. And then it's n right near that star. As I play back and forth on that, you can see that it's... just the luminosity but also as you see the luminosity we've got this going through our so right now very convincing evidence that we have uh, some major movement in our movement through you know we move we haul ass it's more than 66,000 miles an hour we figure we're going right now okay oops there back and forth a little bit there okay then we'll give it the boom, boom, boom. See, they mess with the lens, stuff like that. So they were interested in the, the what we're seeing here of the our equator doing that, okay? And we we do have a thickness at our equator, okay? Because of the spin, the mid, it's the middle of the bowling ball of us doing our rifling through space, dragged by the sun. We get it on our axis. That's our tread. The uh, uh, the equator. Okay, that's our tire. Okay, that's why it's warm at the equator most of the time. Not just the heat of the sun in the direction of the rays. Light curvature, though. Now check that out. Pretty much, we might have a good look at the eye beam of light that we get from the sun, or at least a magnetical line. As you see going across there, and that's not a picture seam. Okay, that's not for doing the uh, okay and then you know the sun is up there behind the solar panel so an interesting light beam that we've got going on right now of earth and or wherever it's coming from okay and yeah we can shoot lasers to find stuff and everything like that from telescopes down on earth but that's that's mother nature out there in space that's mother space right there uh, light magnification there from earth to wherever behind the satellite dealy bobber. So uh, since I got this free here, I'm going to finish it out with a little movie on Jupiter. So here's a little slideshow of Jupiter. And that's pretty much it. From there, I got to go ahead and see if I can get uh, so it's pretty hard to find those objects by looking at the map and then looking at this, but as you see, Jupiter's huge, hugest thing we're supposed to have in our solar system near the sun. Here we go, H12 behind, a quick little movie. So, let's see what we ended up with. Because basically, ooh, we see we're getting a flare there. I didn't see that. Very at the very end. Look at that. So that more than likely might be Venus down there. Venus might be low on at the angle of the dangle. If we go back, and that's going to get drawn back in. But there's a classic example to a atmospheric flare, either that or they're going to end up having to prove, and it, it, we know it's to the CMV, coronal mass ejection off the sun, and also the huge darkness that basically that might be the meatball. So this ain't a bad flick as you watch the black, you can see the stuff off the sun, or the objects there in the black, unique little shift between both of them. And you can kind of get the silhouette of 
what could be up behind all this here.